Hello, so welcome back to Hearthstone Battlegrounds. We're going to try and play a win. We still haven't <laughs> gotten one. I know it's been like a million episodes. Uh, let's have a look at our last five games. We've had a 5th, 4th, 5th, 8th, 3rd. So not too great, actually. Um, yeah, so let's get into this and see if we can finally get that win. I haven't played too much of this lately, but... I don't think there's been an update. Uh, I think what we're going to go for is we're going to go for you, Sarah. And uh, I don't know if I've played her yet on this channel. Or him. I don't know if it's a, well, it's a dragon. It's whatever. I don't know. But um, whenever you refresh the tavern, there will always be a dragon in there. Or like it gets added onto the end. So you actually get an additional minion. Which is good. If you want to go dragons. Um... So we usually start with three, and then the fourth started. one becomes a dragon. And so I guess we buy the dragon. Admittedly, there are murlocs and elementals in the game, so the chance of dragons winning is quite unlikely, unless we get really, really lucky, and people just seem to not want to go for dragons. Um, Cthune got an unlucky start, so we win <laughs> against him anyway. Uh, they want to start with a token. You're good at this. Uh, what I was going to say is that we shouldn't. We sometimes don't want to level because, as you say, if we level up, then we're getting um, more dragons. Whereas if you stay on tier one, you're only getting the red whelps and the dragon spawns. Uh, I don't know why I'm freezing. Actually, yeah, I'll freeze because then I can buy the elemental, sell it, and buy a dragon. Um, yeah, so if you stay on Tavern Tier 1, you can just buy a load of Red Whelps, get a few Golden Ones, and that's good in the early game, but as it gets later on, they're dealing like 6 or 7 damage to like 50 health minions, and it's like, well, whatever. Right, so this is going to be a tie. Oh, it's looking good. Alright. We'll take that one. And uh, we do want to get two dragons, so if we freeze again, we can take this. It's pretty crap, but um, we should get another dragon as well. Ideally, you don't want to be on freezing for this, but actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to freeze. Just going to hope that we get another tier 2 dragon in the tavern. Um, yeah. One win that I've had recently, I actually got the Spicy Pretzel Mustard achievement, which is where you don't lose a single... Well, you win every single game. Uh, so, a tie, you can't even tie a game. You have to win every single round and win in the end. And that's uh, So, you end on 40 HP. You haven't lost a single game. It's insane. Um, that is, we'll just take this and this there as well. Which is one of the hardest achievements to get, honestly, but you have to just get really lucky. Um, unfortunately, didn't get that on camera. <laughs> and it's not happening this game because we did just tie a couple games, so whatever. I am very uh, burpy today, so <laughs> apologies if I uh, offend with that, but hopefully I can contain myself. Um... Oh, he's fine now. Sure. The battle is really we can level up. Getting guaranteed dragon. Nice. We'll take a whelp. Um, if we can get two dragons in the tavern, then this will be worth selling. I think a lot of the times I'll never find a good spot to sell this and end up making it golden and then... Uh... Oh well. Whatever. We should win this round. Be disappointed if we don't. Uh, okay. As long as this gets a few buffs on it. All good. 
Wow, it's high, okay. The battle is really raging out there. Uh, we're just gonna end up having two of these. Well, I don't want to triple that yet. I want to go to. I want to get a five. So, uh, just buy a random card. Yeah. Sure. And Alex Straza is in the game as well, so they're going to take some dragons when they get to tier 5, but they don't seem to be doing too well at the moment. Uh, hope you're all doing great, by the way. If anyone's watching this, I actually haven't looked at how many views I'm getting on these Hearthstone videos. Um, I think maybe one or two. If you made it to this point, then... Uh, and thanks. That's, it means a lot. Um, just give me something to do, you know. We we should win this one, but we'll see. It's looking like it could be a tie. Which we, we were favoured to win the last few games, but we just keep tying. Have we? We tied like four in a row, maybe. Okay, so tear up and buy this boy. Hopefully, get a nice one. None of these are nice. Uh, against, I guess Mifrax will be the best. And then. We can hopefully go to tier 5 next turn. If we get a nice dragon, maybe a Cobalt Guardian, we can tier up, sell one of these. It's going to end up becoming golden in it, but we'll see. Everyone's gunning for you. Watch out. So Greybo is beating Jandis, which uh, well, we'll see. We're likely going to lose this one. It would have been nice if we uh, got this. But we didn't. Oh yeah, give that divine shield, lovely. I mean, I think this has already set it in stone that we're going to lose this one. We just want to smite this boy. Uh, we should be taking a grenade in 10 damage. We're taking 9. Yeah. It's fine, we'll still go to 5. We've got plenty of health. I've got some fresh recruits for you. Lose. One, two, three, yeah. We might as well just get him big. Uh, we are minion down now. But sure. I don't think that's gonna. Uh... I don't know, we need a good turn next turn if we want to do any good. This guy's uh, questionable. He. I don't know if this is going to have enough damage to kill whatever's taunt he has, but whatever what we meant to do. I think you can win this thing. Let's see what you got then, Reno. Yeah, we're uh, we're going to take a lot of damage here. He's emoting at us and everything. Oh yeah, great. He snipes our one card that has a chance of doing anything to him. Uh, we're going to take between 12 and 19, and we get 15, cool. That's right. Some, need some good dragons. That's dragon. Don't want that. I don't want that. That's a good dragon. I don't even want the Mithrax, but it's okay at the moment. A good tactical choice. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I think what we're going to have to do is... We're just going to have to die, you know? Our dragons aren't scaling very well. We could do with getting a triple so we could get a Kalagos, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I'm not going to freeze for these because then we're just spending like three or four gold, six gold on buying crap. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to hope that we get Jandis next turn, and hope that yeah, hope that we get the ghost or someone we. Um, so we have a chance of just dying here. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but yeah, we've got someone looking hit. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. We've got four left. Come on. We're right at the bottom. Come on, put us against bottom. Yes, here we go. We've got two of these. Nice. And a triple. Who do I get rid of? Mifrax. Caligos. Come on, let's battle cry. Battle cry. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. We could get, we could roll for a better battle cry. We actually got a better battle cry. Okay. I don't think we want Bran. <laughs> so we actually have a chance, boys. I can't believe it. Usually what happens is I get to this point where I get a Caligos and then I'll just die. But if we can get a few battle cries off next turn, we might be able to scale up enough to be able to take down some of these fellas. No one's running Murlocs, so we'd have to worry about poison so much at the moment. I'm saying that. We're probably just going to die to Jandis right now, aren't we? I think you can win this thing. <laughs> Let's see. Bad hit from Cobalt there. Nah, we're not going to... We're not going to lose. Um, and if we can scale up the Red Whelp as well, uh, as we are doing, it's not going to be too bad. It can pop some Divine Shield. Then we're pretty happy with the ones that we've got. This is going to give some extra damage. This has got Divine Shield. Ready. And the Dragon's going to scale a bit. Uh, not going to worry too much about buying triples. I probably could have ended on that thing. Here's a gold for the trouble. It's a nine to go against top right now. I don't know if Void Lord is gonna do too much against him anyway. Oh, I'll just take the Hungry Dragon. And then we might triple it next turn. This could be good against tokens. Um it depends if he's scaled up much really. I might want to put it first. If it's, <laughs> obviously this is from four turns. Oh, you can't see what he had four turns ago. Four turns ago, he had a lot of weak stuff that would just die to this straight away. Um, I'm assuming he's scaled up a bit from then. But he should still have some weak stuff. I don't see him scaling up much, so I'm going to put this first. And we'll see. This hopefully is going to snipe some of his um, soul jugglers, if he still has those. Win this thing. So this is our turning point really. If I can win this round, then we might have a chance. We've got like We've got a 16% chance here. Unfortunately. 
and um, I think the 16% chance relied on us just sniping this. Uh, I don't see us winning now. So I'm going to say thanks for watching this video. Come back next Thursday for um, more battlegrounds where we'll try again. Um, yeah, you, this is this is dead. We we're going to take between eight and fifteen, and we took eighteen. So you know we just got completely screwed over there again as usual. Didn't even get in top four. A couple more rounds, and we'd have completely outscaled him. But what can you do? Thanks for watching. This has been GoGo27. See you next time.